shaking resolve. Let's go. How good is 5.1? Is it good or is it like very slow like Stormblood? 4.1. His helper. Is how good in Shadowbringers? We'll meet you on the terrace. Okay. We're gonna let Flamine know that Menphilia is no more. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. God. Fuck. How's this dude? What's up? Let's go back. Oh, I feel so I feel so bad. Let me take my gigantic whale. Excuse me. I love Kryl so much. So, how are they? Still locked in slumber, but otherwise in good physical health. For the present, at least. For the present? Oh no, is something wrong with them? I'm afraid there may be. 
I summoned you after detecting faint signs of instability in Thancred's corporeal ether. But subsequent examinations suggested all five might be affected. And when I examined them just now, my fears were confirmed. Tellingly, the degree of instability varies between them. Thancred exhibits the most notable signs, followed by Yushtola and Uriange. The twins' ether, meanwhile, remains relatively stable, but there is a change there too if one knows to look for it. Hold on. Isn't that the order they were called away in? Indeed. Which leads me to believe the instability will only increase with time. Though I can but speculate, I fear this may be a symptom of a weakening link between body and soul. By the gods! What happens if the link is broken? I cannot say for certain. This is all unknown territory to us. Yet whatever happens, it cannot be good. Mercifully, the instability is still only slight. And you may rest assured, Master Matoya and I will do everything in our power to keep it from worsening. Oh, Matoya! I haven't seen her in a while. Be that as it may, it is imperative that you find a way to restore our friends' souls to their bodies. Thank you. But where's she even supposed to start? We had the greatest minds in the realm hunting high and low for an answer, and they ran out of places to look. You stated in your report that the Exarch had originally intended to reverse the summoning process by means of his own death, correct? Yup. Raha always was a reckless young fool, ready to die for the first righteous cause that came along. His plan might well have worked, but I for one am glad he never had the opportunity to see it through. Even if it does mean our friends must remain stranded a while longer. There is another way, I am sure of it. And the key lies with him, with the Exarch. Pray return to the first and apprise him and the others of the situation. We, meanwhile, will do what we can from here. And, if the fates are kind, we will have good news to share upon your return. Well, let's fucking hope so. Otherwise, everybody's gonna die. <laughs> the homies are gonna die, bro. Pray excuse my late arrival. As per usual. Will Thancred and Reen not be joining us? Nay, my lady. With apologies to all, they beg leave to pursue their investigation of the empty to its conclusion. Should matters here demand their presence, however, they did assure me that they would make themselves available. 
Yes, of course. Then let us proceed. I, I think it best that you begin by providing a summary of Mistress Kryle's findings. Did they change his voice actor? For 5.1? 5, 5 Sounds kind of different. Eden. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of doing Eden. Probably after... 5.3. Yet our souls seem unaffected. To my eye at least. How long they will remain so is another question. Kryle is right. It is imperative we find a way to return to the source. Perhaps an explanation of the method by which I brought you here will yield some inspiration. Ere I begin, it must be noted that I am by no means a gifted mage. In order to employ powerful magics, I must rely upon the Crystal Tower and its boundless reservoirs of energy. The magic that summoned you was no exception. It is a singular spell, adapted through painstaking effort from the technique that transported me to the first. To use an analogy, it works by cutting a hole in the fabric of reality. A hole tailored to the object of summoning, through which it and it alone may pass unscathed. Though I succeeded in creating said hole, I failed to latch onto my intended target. Instead of you, the spell found those close to you, and ended up summoning them in their incomplete state. I would not soon throw my life away, not after the lengths you and yours went to save it. Thank you. And so long as I breathe, I will spare no effort to see you safely home. But should all else fail, and your lives be at stake, there remains one sure method. What was that for? How can you even entertain such thoughts? You owe your life to the Warrior of Light, and you don't get to die unless she says so. <laughs> I love Alice. <laughs> your followers await your divine judgment. What did you just? If the two of you have finished, perhaps we could return to our discussion? Rather than dwelling upon the multiple failed attempts at transference, I think it would behoove us to focus on the solitary success. I would draw your attention to the fact that our friend can travel between worlds possessed not only of her body and soul, but her personal effects besides. This is no different from the teleportation magics to which we are all accustomed. Magics that allow for the transportation of those inanimate objects one considers to be an extension of oneself. Are you suggesting that simply by considering us her possessions, she could carry our souls back to the source upon her person? Well, it would be nice if things were that simple for a change. But vague notions of ownership seem a rather tenuous thing to stake our lives on. So much as a moment of doubt on her part and we'd be left floating in the rift. Milady hath the right of it. The requisite fixity of belief would be too much to ask even of our friend. Yet were we to immure our souls within an object in her possession, mayhap then our safe passage could be assured. Oh. White Auricide would, I believe, serve as a suitable vessel for this purpose. It was conceived to imprison the massy soul of an Asian and should house one of ours with relative ease. We would need only to ensure our soul's safe preservation inside the stone and identify a means by which they might be transferred back unto our vacant bodies. Soul preservation and transference. 
I believe I know of someone who may be able to assist us. On the far shore of the source, there stands a great palace built by the elves. It was forsaken in the wake of the flood, but a certain new Mo chose to make their home there soon after. Oh? Though they have long lived as a recluse, they once occupied a place of honor in Verbert's royal court, and it is said that none in all of Norvrand is more knowledgeable than they on matters of the soul. Well, I've no objection to seeking a helping hand, but if they've gone to such lengths to hide themselves away from the world, what makes you think they'd be willing to lend us one? <laughs> a worthy question. Years ago, I myself tried and failed to solicit their cooperation in the battle against the Sin Eaters. No sooner had I begun to make my plea than they unleashed a swarm of their familiars upon me. Unlike me, however, you have curried favor with the Fey Folk. By that merit alone, I am hopeful that they would grant you an audience. They may still be inclined to turn you away, of course, but if their knowledge might feasibly facilitate your return home, we have to try. And by we, I mean you. Because <laughs> Graha is going to stay here. Oh, more scenes? Nope. Let's go. Crystal Exarch. What's up, dude? A grand adventure. The Crystal Exarch world wastes no time in seeking help. Okay. On the opposite shore of the source. You know what I feel? Like every character in Shadowbringers grew up a lot. Oh wait, now that I <laughs> now that I think about it, where was Tancred? Where was Tancred and Reen? Okay, the change of music is kind of weird. I can't help you know. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna be a dungeon? Oh, it is a dungeon! What the fuck? I just realized. Oh, well, I didn't see this coming. Very well. Very well. Victory will be ours! Oh. Mm. Well, let's go. A 
let's go oh no this guy is disgusting So this is gonna be like a labyrinth, pretty much. Oh no! I didn't expect to have a dungeon right away. I think like I I think like that I do more DPS than <laughs> Alice. Hello, ooh, we are definitely gonna fight these guys. Yep. Nice to Oh <laughs> A little broom
Dude, this, this is so weird. What am I fighting? The little monsters? Or was I fighting the, the axes? Who knows? First boss? Nice <laughs> Hmm. Seeker of Solitude. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> I completely fucked it up. Let's go. Maiming. What is maiming? For archers? Oh, for dragoons. 
Homie! This looks so pretty. I like this dungeon. <laughs> I like this dungeon already. Oh! The fuck are you? Wait, are these pigs? Oh, piggies! Should I pull more? Let's pull more. Fuck it. If you know, don't be a bitch. <laughs> Keep me healed, please. Holy shit, they take forever to kill things. Oh, damn it. I don't know about you guys, but I like this dungeon a lot. And Ochu, I hate Ochu so much. Ochu and Alboros are the worst. These enemies remind me remind me on the of the ones from Final Fantasy VIII in the, in the garden. Very nice. Yeah, they look alike. The yellow enemies. Ooh. Gimme. I got a choker. Choke me. Oh, piggies! Wait, are these the last ones? Paraporty and Bellporty. Where the fuck are you going, you little bitch?
god. Seeker of Solitude. Lenancy? Okay, that's the name of a demon in Shin Megami Tensei. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm like, why is. <laughs> why can't I attack her? Of course I can't. Shit, what is that? Oh. Oh. Okay, how the fuck do I put it down? Oh. Oh shit! No, there's no fucking way! Get the fuck out of here! No! No! Storm of color? Okay. I shall bloom again. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was a very fun fight. Wait, is this what I think it is? Holy shit, I thought I was. For ninjas, yeah. So this is where you get it. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna be fucking farming this dungeon. Wabi! I am enjoying this dungeon quite a bit actually, Wabi. And now I just realized that this is where you get the, the, the helmet with the little with the wolf. I've been wondering where you where you get it. No. Oh, he uses that one? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I, I saw it in in an image and I liked it a lot. And I was I was like, I need it. I want it. Ugh, piggies. Fucking pigs. I want it. So now I feel like I'm gonna have to grind this dungeon for quite a bit. I'm gonna have to drag Ravi with me. I feel bad for him. <laughs> he can use this to to level up one of his 100 characters. Dude, I feel like these guys have a lot of HP. <laughs> One of my alls. <laughs> Is it in Primal? <laughs> okay, <Robbie. laughs> Oh, holy shit. Wait. We have to go forward. What's over here then? Wait, what are you? Oh. Huh? Well, I guess I, you're gonna have to let me know so we can, I can help you. I have an excuse to run this dungeon again. I just want the loot. Where's my loot? Oh no! Get over here. Dude, if I ever run a dungeon with these guys again, I'm gonna have to go DPS or something. Cause I feel like they take forever to ki to kill enemies. So how's your how's your vacation going, Wabi? How many days are you taking? A week? Two weeks? Three weeks? <laughs> Cajones. <laughs> do you know what do you know what the, what cajones means? Oh shit. A horse? Cajones in Spanish <laughs> means drawers, like for your clothes, <laughs> like a drawer. <laughs> if you were trying to use like the Spanish uh, slang, it's, um, cojones. Just like how you wrote it, but with an O, instead of, uh, <laughs> potato! Why do I use trust? Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather run trust when it's my first dungeon. Than finding people online, like have the the party finder or the duty finder rather. Uh 
until tomorrow night. Wait, so that so that means what? Three, four days without playing? Fourteen? Wabi, are you okay? Are you not missing the game? <laughs> Quick arm materia. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that you you took a laptop with you, <laughs> and you are you are playing while Sabi is sleeping. <laughs> We are finally fighting this fucking Cthulhu looking monster. Dude, this guy is disgusting. He's like another tentacle, like another hentai dude. Insatiable flame. You brought a laptop, but no 14. Boo! Well, I mean, you can always just download it, right? <laughs> right, right? Okay, he looks like he's ready to kick my ass. Did I f do that shit again? Turn them to ash. Yes, sir. Homie, I don't know who's cooking, but it smells so good. What the fuck are we supposed to do? You see, that's why I use trust. <laughs> I have no idea what these are. Fuck it. Okay. It's coming from my ass. Get out of the way! Okay, I follow you. This fucking Alfino doesn't kill us. <laughs> oh no, this shit again! Do I have to run? What the fuck do I have to do? Oh. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the fight, dude. <laughs> At this point, I feel like I, I can't die with fucking little Afino here. Watch me die. Oh! You bastard. Stop it! Yep! Trust takes forever! 
But I feel like it's good because I get to enjoy the dungeon without having to waste anybody's time. Okay, who do I follow? Okay, you guys. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Where are you going, you little bastard? Hey, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> oh my god. What did I just say? I don't think I can die because Alfie knows healing rip. <laughs> oh, they are not making me go all the way around. <laughs> it always happens. It always happens. They are really making me go all the way around? What a... What a way to cuck me. Alfie, you know... Homie, I will punch you. Nine. He is the one to blame. Get out of my sight, Alfino. Wait, is Alice taller? <laughs> Dude, these fights take for fucking ever. Oh well. At least there's good music though, right? You stole I would never. Say you are a fucking dumbass. This place is getting even more addictive. <laughs> nah, Wabi. <laughs> Ali say, oh my goodness. Getting the fuck away. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah, I'm burning. Into raiding? Oh, my God. I don't think. I don't think I would have the time to raid. As crazy as Wabi is, I don't think. I don't think so. Oh shit. Okay, not you know. <laughs> okay, you know what? Ow! 
I'm getting the fuck away again. <laughs> well, I completely fucked that one up. No! Did she cancel it? Oh, thank God. I mean, it would be fun. It would be really fun. Okay, so now I know that this dumbass. There we go. Baba! Oh, Boba. Look what I got and you can't use it. Wait, did my thing just Oh my god, thank god. I think I'm gonna kick Alice out of the party. No, you know what? Fuck it. Off you know. <laughs> Shit, fuck you, dude. <laughs> fuck you, Alfino. <laughs> Give me my loot. Fuck. <laughs> Really? Actually, I kind of like it. How you doing, Boba? Boba. Boba son. Oh? That was my fiercest familiar. Oh, impressive. This thing is disgusting. Oh! These things are so cute. <laughs> Boba! Back look. It is good to see you again after all these years. And judging by your vigorous greeting, I dare say the feeling is mutual. To be sure, a simple shake of the hand would have sufficed by way of welcome, but I shan't complain. But you must be wondering as to the purpose of our visit. We come to beg your assistance in a most beg. urgent matter. Sh shake? <laughs> beg? Why does he sound like a kid? Our comrades' very souls are in danger. If we are to save them, we will need the benefit of your unsurpassed knowledge on the matter. Please, will you not sit and hear our plea? Oh, how dare you! How dare you speak thus in my presence! It was to escape such words of temptation that I hid myself from the world of men. Okay, I don't like him you anymore. Are sinners, one and all, <laughs> and I swore never again to have any part in your affairs. I can only imagine what terrible events forced you into a life of seclusion. <laughs> but I know that the new Mo are a good and noble folk. It is not in your nature to turn a blind eye to the plight of those around you. And in treating with us, I am certain whatever mistrust you feel for man will begin to... heal. What?
If you will not be satisfied. Oh, why? Oh, suppose I could listen. After all, there's no <laughs> harm in just. Took you long enough. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I mustn't. Not again. That damn court mage seemed to have the best of intentions too, and countless innocents died for my naivety. Baba! Oh God! Sad music. You know not what you ask of me. What horrors my knowledge has wrought! You know of the plague? Then you know how dangerous Soulcraft can be! Instead of saving your friends, you risk damning them. Are you sure you're willing to take that chance? petition but that is all and i expect fitting payment for my troubles commensurate with your contribution to our cause no more and no less i promise you with that settled might i impose upon you to join us at the crystarium i'm afraid the nature of my friend's predicament calls for absolute secrecy Sure. Cause why not? Oh god. <laughs> Alfino, I just wanna punch the shit out of you. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god! You gotta go wait. <laughs> I don't even know why I started yelling your names, to be honest. <laughs> A welcome guest. I just started one day. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, why did I start yelling your names? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just waiting for, like, all the hype to die down so I can put them up. I mean, I was working and editing videos, so... I would play, like, 10 minutes and chill for, like, 40. <laughs> Almost. So it doesn't feel as bad. Sorry, you mean to tell me not only that the return of night was your doing, but that you hail from another world as well? Yes, sir. Everything we told you of the source, the shards, the seven umbral calamities, all of it is true. I realize how fantastical it sounds, and I would not blame you for doubting our testimony. But given your expertise, you must surely have noted the peculiar nature of their souls. Any other time and I would have dismissed your stories as balderdash and flummery. But upon closer inspection, it is plain their souls are far denser than is normal, and that they do not possess true bodies. Oh? Save you. Your body is your own. 
And your soul is the densest of them all. So my cat is thick. She As is. As I said before, <laughs> were it not for their heroism, the skies over Norvrank would still be awash with light. The realm yet at the mercy of 4-3 and the Sin Eaters. After all they have done for our home, seeing them safely back to their own, it seems the very least we can do. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Your tale is intriguing. Yes, very intriguing indeed. Simply to hear it is fitting payment in itself. Oh. As for your friends, I can but agree. Their valorous deeds on behalf of Norvrant are deserving of recognition. Of their own fitting payment. You will help us then? I will. I would see my knowledge put to good use for a change. Yay. I do have one condition, however. I am not the spry young Numo I once was. As such, I will require assistance in my fieldwork and testing. It would be our pleasure. We'll be laboring for our own benefit after all. So basically a bunch of fetch quests, right? So what's up with Alice? Does she have feelings for the Warrior of Light? I've been wondering that for a while. Are you too? No, you are taller. Oh shit, she is. You fucking little peep squeak. <laughs> is it because you have boots? Maybe. Nah, just a little bit. Also, is Grahatia gonna return to the source? Is he gonna stay here? Oh, are we gonna help the little kid? A 
armor rank then. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. I feel like the kid is gonna wake up and he's gonna be sad that Tesslin is dead. the patient with soul tonic oh i thought we were gonna have to make it here you go homie whoops paw nail nice -o. who's the third one So it seems like the tonic works. Kind of. Good for the soul. Let's see what's up with this homie.
<laughs> Dope clay where are we gonna find clay? The miners said twine. Okay. Magus Magnus. Homie, I need clay. I need clay. <laughs> That's it. Blue markers are your friends. <laughs> but there are so many of them. I feel like these they just unlock ether ether currents, right? Nah. I've never been popular, Mr. Boba. I mean, you can just try it, right? Or even wait until until you see some of them running around, see if you like it or not, before you you make the jump. Dude, these fucking twins are fast. Yeah, that's what I read. That supposedly the male viewers are always hunting and hiding. So they are very rare, supposedly. And they just come. They just come to have sex with the females and leave. <laughs> what a bunch of horny fuckers. <laughs> Why well, I watch a YouTube video, something like I I I I I read a, I read something while I watched a video about that. Oh, your wife plays. That is dope. Yes. <laughs> okay, Wobby. Poor Tesla. She saw how addicted Boba can get with 14 and decided to she decided to stop. <laughs> Oh. 
Let us begin. What about the male cat? Let's see what happens. I trust you've prepared the clay. Very good. Now, I would have you sculpt for me a porksy. Piggy! Plump, with floppy ears and a short curly tail. How do I get the piggy minion? A porksy. I think I know what you mean. A pork roast. Wait, there's Pixie Tribe Quest? What the fuck? There we are. H how's that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a monster from Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is certainly creative. <laughs> There's no denying that. Oh, she's gonna punch the shit out of you if you know. <laughs> Yeah, my cat is like, yes, nope. Yes, yes, I'm no artist. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Pay him no mind, child. Though it may look like a grotesque parody of reality, it is what the Invoker believes that matters. Wow. <laughs> You're not helping. Yeah, she sounds very old. But I speak the truth. If successful, this incantation will turn imagination into reality. How old is she? Which How old is she? The only thing of import is what you believe this figure embodies. You must focus. Hold the Porksy's image steady in your mind's eye. Just like what, 17? I think? 18? Now then. As I taught you, relax and allow your energies to flow. <laughs> uh oh. With flesh of clay, I bid thee rise on wings of dreams to touch the skies. What once was idle fantasy, I call forth to reality. Oh, Piggy! <laughs> we are eating good Not tonight. Bad for a first <laughs> attempt. Now. Let us see what can be done for young Halric. Pork chops. We're having pork chops for dinner. Through the operation of the magics you invoked to animate this familiar, it is now replete with the energies required to stir the boy's soul. You need but give it a name, and it will do as your heart desires. <laughs> He's so fucking cute. <laughs> a name. All right, I've decided. Now. Go, Angelo! Angelo, like the dog from Final Fantasy VIII? Dope. Uh, uh, um, 
Wow. Oh, that's right. Oh, the little one. Caves here? Yep. What is happening in Yulmore now? Are the Sin Eaters back? Cat! You know what feels weird? Not seeing Chris pop up. <laughs> Out of nowhere. What's up with Lady Chai? Now what is so important, woman? Where else to turn? 
Oh, this is all too much for my poor heart to bear alone. Alone? What of Master Chai? That is the very reason I summoned you. He's gone. What? What happened? It all began after the events at Mount Golg. With Lord Vorthry out of the way, we all agreed that a new leader must be chosen. And so you held an election? Yes. Well, sort of. Not a single person volunteered to stand, you see. After a lifetime of leisure, we free citizens have grown somewhat indolent. Readapting to the harsh realities of life is trying enough, but to take charge of a broken city as well. No one wanted such responsibility. Nevertheless, Yulmore could not well do without a leader, and so we decided that anyone and everyone should be considered a candidate. And after we cast our ballots and tallied the votes, the mayorship fell upon my dear husband. Well, given the manner in which he orchestrated the construction of the giant Talos, none could deny his leadership qualities. But even before then, he had proven himself at Daedalus Stoneworks, don't forget. He is more than qualified for the role. The perfect choice. Indeed. I told him as much when his victory was first announced. But perhaps I was too forceful in my attempt to encourage him. For shortly after that, he vanished without a word. <laughs> That's a lot of rings. You believe he was so daunted by the burden of leadership that he felt compelled to flee. Please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. Your husband does not strike me as the sort of man who would abandon his duty, much less his beloved wife. There has to be some other reason for his absence. You... you truly think so? What about you? What do you think has become of my husband? Lady, you are a little too much. And there you have it, Lady Chai. You needn't worry. Master Chai loves you more than all the world and he will return. Wherever he may have gone, rest assured we will find him. Thank you, my dear boy. You have set my mind at ease. I will trust in my husband and await his return. Nice too. Alright, Vito! I feel like the patch of this quest started like really good and then it like starts going down. Woman! Mm. 
gather information in the buttress. Where the shit is that? Where's this Mr. Chai? Where did you go? Howdy. Huh. Call Lucia. Haste. Haste lot. What? What kind of name is this? Okay. Dear God, this takes forever. Oh, what is that monster? Huracan. Huracan, that means hurricane in Spanish. Oh, my God. I feel like the whale is dragging across the land. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, let me up.
Or what kind of resources? Food? Actually, what happened to the friends of this cat? Are they dead? Crystal. What up, dog? Hit eight. What is that? <laughs> My fucking will. <laughs> I swear to God. Dude, this looks incredible. Is this him? Howdy. 
Well, well, it's you again. Well, I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? No, I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Ilmorans. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, to Lord Forthree's villainy, the famous warriors of darkness. Who are they now? Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthry. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Hear, hear, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable. Yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmor. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthry was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthry's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. This much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmore can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. A great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmore seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain. It seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found, as much food and drink as we could ever want, secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course, content to, as you say, wallow in indolence, in ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. The distinction between free and bonded died with Vorthree. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive. To which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmore for the people. A Yulmore? 
cure for the people. I like this chai. Chai news. I rather like the sound of that. But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. Uh-oh. You would? You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems. But first, I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following. <laughs> it was with a little smirk. He has no idea what to do. Oh, so he, he is going to use the Talos. Ah, shit. Here we go. More fetch quests. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> with me yes sir oh there's no way oh my god
<laughs> I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Same. Let's go. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no. Was that it? Please don't turn around. He's gonna fuck this one up. Or not. About time. Are we gonna be? Are we gonna? I don't know. I thought we were gonna ride them. Right. 
Right then, uh, form a line and make for your more. What's that noise? Wicked white! Run away, Talos! Call the guard! No! Stay back, all of you. <laughs> Mrs. Chai. <gasps> Is that Darling, you're back. But of course I'm back. You didn't see. Yes, <laughs> I, I can't. God. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Poor cat. <laughs> One thousand percent. <laughs> Thank you. She cracked the I'm spine. Sorry, my darling. It's just the sight of you filled me with such joy. I couldn't help myself. Oh no, no, it, it's all right, dear. I, I should have just come out and said what it was I was intending instead of entrusting the task to a hastily scribbled letter. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I mean, not, not, not that my absence signified any unwillingness, you understand? Oh, no, naught could be further from the truth. I only left to enlist the aid of the former mayor's senior advisor. And now that I have it, I believe I am ready to take office. Okay. Wait, the Talos are here? Let's go, Master Chai. Chai Chan. Pain and pleasure. Oh, what is this?
Oh, hell yeah. I am gonna be there. I feel like we are almost done with the patches. Or with the patch, rather. Are you the Lady Chai? You look exactly like her. The shit? Uh oh, here we go. Wait. <laughs> Sneaky woman. Uh, um. <clears throat> uh oh. Go on, dear. Thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I, could I ask the free citizens of Yulmore to look around? It is a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the Bonded, but today we welcome the peoples of the Derelicts and Gate Town too. Today we welcome the Warriors of Darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmore's new beginning. As you know, an election was recently held, at the end of which I had the honor of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim while Yulmore is reshaped according to a new set of values. No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new, to what manner of nation Yulmore should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry. There is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. 
And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. The road before us will not be easy, and I know full well how daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem to some of you. But we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. This much we owe to ourselves and to the brave heroes who risked their lives to bring back the night. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength for Yulmo! Wait, nobody's clapping. Oh. <laughs> Up off, you know. Us, the scions. Here. Wabi! Wait. You finally cleared it? Dope. Is it hard? Chris? Was it hard to clear diamond? <laughs> how hard is... How hard are the extremes? Super hard? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Why is she staring at me? <laughs> you still haven't gotten a clear? Weren't you doing them with, with Chris? Bubba? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll clear it with you, Boba. Let me get there first. <laughs> Let's go. And she doesn't say a word. So I guess, I guess. A <laughs> hundred and fifty. In a couple of years. Homie, I'm not gonna lie, that fucking monster gave me a headache. Probably because I haven't had any food. Wait, I just noticed one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh! I just. <laughs> holy shit. I just noticed. This is the source, and these are the 13 shards. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Xart. When can I start diamond? Do you have to be in like patch five point something? Uh oh. Do you fight them in 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 the first on the source? I'm guessing in the source. First. Whoops. <laughs> Doga and Unei. I haven't heard those names in a while. Now, now Chris wants your help, Boba. <laughs> uh 
Oh, il est là. Is that right, Boba? Sneaky, sneaky, Boba. Wait, you're not happy? <laughs> Are you a sad Boba? Several cutscenes, my god, I thought we were gonna be done. <laughs> is Yoshi P's right hand? <laughs> and Wabi is straight up Wabi. <laughs> no changes Sorry with Wabi. Waiting. As obsessed as ever. I've carried out the treatment as per Master Matoya's instructions. Oh. It should slow the destabilization of their corporeal ether quite significantly. But tell me, how fair are our friends in the first? They're chilling. Enjoying life over there. So this Becklug's the first to lead an authority on Saltcraft, are they? Sounds promising. And Uriange's proffered solution of white orosite is rather ingenious now that I think of it. Well, while they press on with their preparations, you may rest assured we will continue to do our part here. Oh, you're back. Estinian Sticky Boy! <laughs> You're as fucking ugly as ever, dude. <laughs> and none the worse for wear, I see. The only good thing is the theme. Estinian! Oh, thank the gods! We've been worried sick. Did you lose your link pearl or something? The situation in Garlemald has become more complicated. I was making my escape from the capital when I ran into one of yours, Riol. He thought it best we come straight here. More complicated how? <laughs> Where to begin? Xenos is alive? He killed- After entering the Empire via Razad Han, I went about my mission of investigating Black Rose. It was then, inside a provincial factory, that I encountered the one who styles himself Shadow Hunter, Gaius Baelsar. Our goals being apparently aligned, we joined forces and ventured on into the heart of the capital, to the very Imperial Palace itself. There, we found a man whom all assumed dead. Oh my god, I got chills. <laughs> his soul lives on. And he has rested back his flesh. Xenos Ye Galvas. Nor did the surprises end there. For no sooner had we arrived than he murdered his sire in cold blood. The Emperor is dead. This sent Gaius into a rage, and he charged in, blade drawn. Echo time. 
What's wrong? <laughs> I love Tataru. <laughs> What's up with the voices? Oh, I dropped my can. Stinky boy. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Dude, Xenos is terrifying. Install 14 in your laptop, Wabi. Sabi is not gonna find out. Play in the bathroom. Abomination. Fucking ladies. Wait, we didn't kill them? Wait, he can teleport like the Asians? Little bitch. <laughs> the king is dead. Good. Shit. Do we I have to play a stinky boy? <laughs> oh god. What the fuck do my moves do? Holy shit, Estini, you are one shotting everything. Oh
Damn it. Wait, that looks like Ultima. All right, that's creepy. Nidhogg. Oh? Come on, stinky boy. We can do this. So many I have new skills. Target is not in range. Oh. Stinky boy. What the fuck did that do? <laughs> oh! Goodness, I am starving. Oh, shit. There's no way! Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh. Taste my lungs. Taste it. <laughs> Oh. 
Ba 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 ba. This game tricked me. I thought it was just cutscenes. Are you all right? You're. Peer into my past, did you? Well, I didn't quite relive the experience as you did, but I bore witness to it all. I'm still not sure what I think of this gift of yours, but no matter. Our confrontation was cut short when the Imperial Guard arrived. It was then that Xenos took his leave, citing boredom. <laughs> to think their research into the Echo could bear such fruit. Escaping death, jumping from one body to the next, and returning to his own after all this time. He is an Asian in all but name. It beggars belief, I, But no more than hero traversing the rift between worlds. My concerns are far more prosaic. With the Emperor dead and the Crown Prince missing, the Empire is in disarray. Until order is restored, assuming it even possible, we needn't fear an Imperial reprisal. And for reasons of his own, Xenos took it upon himself to rid the world of Black Rose. Riol has already gone to apprise the Alliance leaders of these developments. We may leave the matter in their hands for now. Then perhaps we have seen the last of the fighting at Gimlet. Though, if it comes to civil war, I cannot help but fear for the provinces. Ah, oh, I'd nearly forgotten to ask. What became of Gaius? Did he not escape with you? That he did, but we parted ways shortly after leaving Garlemald. He claimed another threat had arisen which demanded his attention. He didn't elaborate, but the absence of some device or other in the capital gave him reason to believe they're planning something. Lest you worry, I believe he has well and truly shed the Black Wolf's pelt. Conquest is no longer his objective. We may safely leave him to his own devices. Well, it's nice to have one less foe to worry about, even if we do have a mysterious new threat to look out for instead. Speaking of which, I'll see that Riol and Al Shinobi are made aware, though we still know next to nothing. It can't hurt to be vigilant. Well then, with Black Rose nipped in the bud, I believe I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Oh? That's true, but with the Archon still slumbering away, we were hoping you might agree to stay with us for a little bit longer. Sorry, but I'm not inclined to extend my contract. Gaius isn't the only one with business to attend to. Thank you for your help then, Estinian. I see why Alphno admires you so. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. 
See that you don't make a habit of dozing off in battle. Hmm. I suppose we should all be getting on then. As ever, we will see to the Archon's needs. In the meantime, why not get some rest? You've more than earned it. Go on. I think I have. Meanwhile, in Garlemald. Who? Lord, Lord who? What's up, Beto? This dude gets bored so easily. Wait. Is that an Asian? Good, Beto. About to end the stream. Oh, and you more. How was your stream, Beto? Was it good? Bird. Wait. He doesn't have a a hue. Is he alive? What? <laughs> okay, 5.2. Bows of virtue, deeds of cruelty. Okay, so that was indeed complete the quest bow. Okay. So that was 5.1. That was dope. I enjoyed that quite a bit. 